a freezing day and our men still down there. Catherine, Mary, me and the young'uns at Pit Head. Catherine's man, his brother, three lads and one nephew, Mary's William and her four sons, my man George and my two boys. We wait for them all to come up. We huddle together, anxious for news. Ralph Robinson and William Sharp surface, shaken, exhausted, their breath hanging on air. So shocked they couldn't speak, found their loved ones and disappeared. A few more emerged and left for home, not ours. Thomas Watson, the local preacher, was the last to ascend. He'd held prayers with the injured men, comforting them till they passed away. Others, he said, were lying as if asleep. Little boys wrapped in their father's arms, grown men hugging their maras and brothers. Silent. We women and bairns, crying and wailing, so little hope left, bereft. Our men folk still far down in the pitch black pit. As night falls, we turn for home, feed the bairns, put them to bed, and we are left alone in our thoughts. One o'clock on Sunday, with curtains closed, our men in coffins delivered home. At Catherine's, three on the bed and one on a chair. Five at Mary's stacked from floor to ceiling, and my three lay on my big bed. We were sitting by the fire nursing our grief when the procession began. A four mile queue of coffins on carts to Ersden Parish Church. Catherine, Mary, me and the young'uns wrapped up warm, left our little houses, made our solemn way with our loved ones. Alongside 55 survivors, strong men now pale and dejected. The sky hung heavy as we reached the burial ground. Silent tears rolled as clouds were about to burst. We said our last farewells, then raised our heads high.